and sometime around six o'clock and uh, and uh, the Lord spoke to me the scriptures where it says uh, that the gates of hell shall not prevail against his church uh, oh the word of God says upon this rock I will build my church uh, and the gates of hell let me tell you no foundation no other foundation uh, is going to stand there's a lot of men's foundations uh, that have been tried to build uh, there's been a lot of groups that house uh, so called they think ownership of a building or a church or a people uh, and those foundations have crumbled uh, those have uh, fell asunder uh, why because there is only one rock uh, his name is Jesus amen uh, and he said upon this rock will I build his church uh, and the gates of hell shall not prevail uh, the word simply means it shall not come nigh uh, the dwelling place of where the spirit of God is because where the spirit of God is there is liberty and where there is liberty there is boldness and where there is boldness hallelujah in the name of Jesus the devils they tremble and they shake my Lord and my God I've come too far and I've been here too long in the spirit realm to compromise now he's brought me too far he has brought the church so very far and as I begin to look back in church history and being brought up if you will in a Pentecostal church all of my natural born and spiritual born days I have seen if you will the pendulum I have seen it if you will I've seen the pendulum of so called Pentecost and religion I have seen it swing from one extreme unto the other I want to stop right there a minute and let that soak in. I have seen it at a place where when we served God and we came into the church, the church had a God-given standard. I know automatically where minds go when I say that. They think, well, he's going to get on the clothesline and preach. Oh, that's not, you see, it starts in the heart. Come on. But what's in the heart is manifested on the outside. Hello, somebody. I'm telling you the Word of God is still black and white. It's still got the red writing in there. It's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. It still carries the weight as it always has. It is still to be revered as it has always been. It is still a holy anointed book. Hallelujah with anointed principles. Oh, my, 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 my. Oh, just stay with me. Oh, you're seeing. I've seen this pendulum spring from one extreme into the other. I want you to understand something. First of all, I'm not stuck in the tradition of man. But I'm stuck in the tradition of God. I'm stuck right in the middle of His Word. I'm stuck moving with the Spirit of Almighty God. Amen. Oh, there's been a lot of man-made traditions. And some of them's been good. Some of them's not been as good. And I want to say, you see, there's, there's a... Understand, Pastor, this morning. There's a pendulum from one extreme to the other. I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you. I was raised up in a church where there was a lot of you can't do this and you can't do that. Hello. But you know what happened? Instead of men and women seeking the face of God and finding the balance, getting in the middle of the road concerning the Word of God, I see a generation that's come along now that anything goes. Come on, somebody. Amen. They can live any way and think they can go to heaven. They can so-called worship any way and think it's pleasing to God. Let me tell you, I want to tell you I've come too far. The church has been too blessed to compromise with the world now. I don't want some slick, young, silver turn dude coming along and telling me you've been doing it wrong all this time. You ain't been worshiping God and when they get up, it's nothing to, there's no anointing. Oh, pastor, you better be careful. No, I'm being honest. I want somebody that's been in the prayer closet. I want somebody that's been in new with the Holy Ghost to lead me and worship, praise God. 
It's too late to compromise.